All right, guys. Let's turn all this stuff off. <sighs> I wanted to do a little sailing the string through these modified LS1 RPC castings. I took the string and I put a fresh coat of blue on it, but I am still... I don't have enough light. And... I don't see the adjustment on here to get any more light on this. It's going to have to be what it is. So we're going to fire it up. We're going to run it at 600 lift, which is 338 CFM on last test. Hopefully the clay will stay in place because the clay is a is a problem at that uh, at that flow. Let's give it a try. Okay, that uh, obviously was not 600 lift because it was only 314 CFM. Let's just check that. One. Oh, okay. That's a good question. I don't know. I'll have to go back and figure that out. Okay, we got the uh, the height set right at 338 CFM. Let's try that again. Okay, so this project is an RPC LS1 cut for a bigger valve, a 2.1, and it's got a 1.6 exhaust or a 1.59 same crap. I already tore it off the bench and I forgot to reflow the exhaust, so I gotta put it back on, but let's take a quick look at the intake. Okay. 
<sighs> that uppercut on the valve job could probably use a little bit of work. I've got my throat set at 88%. Uh, been working on the short side, how wide the bowl is, and the roof speeds. Let's see where we are right now as far as intake. Let me put the pluses and minuses from the last test. Okay. This test versus the last test. If you look at my notes, I widened the short side radius a little bit according to my short side radius speeds on the last the last test. Okay? So I did some work according to that. I got plus plus, minus 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 in the meat of the curve, and then I got all pluses on the top end. Because we had we had a problem after 500 lift, it would start to go down. This one was I'm having problems with the clay in and out over here. But in any case, as far as widening the S the short side radius, raising the roof on the center of the cylinder to even out our roof speeds. Right? Center of the cylinder was faster. Knocked that back a little bit. So overall, that was a relatively successful uh, project. I did have to do some work on the chamber. The chamber is... It's a little tough on, on LS stuff because you have to set it for a different size, you know, whatever size chamber you're going to run. So these are big valves. These are going to be using uh, probably like a 4.1 gasket size. I'm I'm not an expert with uh, the gasket stuff. Well, the only LS gasket I have is like a 5.3 liter gasket. So I got to keep it a little bit on the smaller side. These are for uh, my buddy in California that wants to uh, CNC these. So I need to... Uh, do the do the design, get them the best I can. Of course, you know, he's like Charlie. We need uh, a 225 cc port that flows 360. Sure, no problem. He's good. Um, I don't even know what size this port is right now, but it seems to me with the LS architecture, the bigger ports just tend to work a little better. It's it's definitely, it's not the same as doing a, a small block Chevy or even a small block Ford, even though it's, in reality, it's very similar to a small block Ford design, but the real tall port throws a wrench in the, in the works. And the short side radius is uh, downright a pain. Okay, that's where our short side radius is now. Notice the steep angle, right? And it's it's relatively wide. And as of as of now, I'm still losing it after 600. See, it's going down, which means the speed across the short side radius is too fast. So I could knock it back some more, but then I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose more in the meat of my curve, which I really don't want to do. Like 211 at, at 300 is a good number. I like that number. Take a look at our swirl. Practically zero until 700. Which was a little bit different than the last one. We had minus 2248 at 600. And that, I'm going to say was due to the changes in the roof speed more than anything else. I'm sure changes in the short side radius too. But things you need to pay attention to. I'm going to throw this back on the bench and do the exhaust now. Okay guys, this is what we got. Let's put the pluses and minuses on. Okay, if you take a look at my notes, I blew out the, bat, the, the outside wall a little bit. 
So we got minus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, equals, plus, plus, plus. I think that's about done according to my speeds. Right? 323, 312, 323. That's not bad across the top. 312, 75, 314. Except for being dead in the center, those speeds are good. And on the floor, 266, 127, and 240 are relatively even. I'm going to say that uh, exhaust port is about as far as it's going to go, unless I make it quite a bit bigger. And I really don't want to make it a lot bigger. Let's take a look at that. Okay. You can see the exhaust port. I could have dropped the short side radius a little bit more to get more line of sight, but then I would lose meat in the, the middle of the curve, and I like the meat in the middle of the curve. Uh, I think at 400, we're, we're flowing in as much as this casting did stock. So that's a big, that's a big step up. Okay. All righty. Get the basic idea of what we did here. Obviously, you can't take out a ton of metal in the middle because they share that they share that wall. And there's not a lot, you know, on the completely stock ones. There still isn't a huge amount of metal between them. Okay. Take a quick look at the stocker. Take a look at this one. As a matter of fact, at 400, this is that exhaust is flowing 200 CFM without a pipe, which is not bad. Okay, let's take a little bit different view of that uh, intake port. Okay, it looks a little different with the blue dicom all over it, but overall, it's got a pretty decent shape. Yeah, I had to bring that wall over enough to see some of the threads from the uh, rocker stud boss. I have to CC this still. I uh, really don't have a clue what how many CCs it is right now. No idea. Okay, and as typical Charlie fashion, the outside is really probably maybe just a touch bigger than it was stock. Okay. Decent amount of rework on the short side. Decent amount of rework on the roof. Alright, guys. Overall, what the customer wants is um, going to be tough to do. Literally, he wants 360 CFM out of this. And the big valve really chokes down that, that chamber. I think I did uh, almost the same numbers with a 202. So, it's uh, always an interesting uh, in process. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I have to, uh, I have to CC these. I don't know if the phone will stay on pause long enough, but I'm going to try to do that. Okay, guys. All right, port's almost 240. Exhaust port is 86.5. Throats, 1.857 for your intake, which is 88.4%. 1.362 for your exhaust, which is 85. Pretty close to my uh, go-to uh, ratios. All right, guys. Take... Uh, Take a look and see how we're doing for that size port and then report back. I'm actually relatively happy with the uh, air speeds. I really kind of like to call it a day at this point. But uh, let me know because, you know, he wanted 360 CFM out of that size port. I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> I mean... It doesn't look like it. Not not at the rate I'm going here. So, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.